I just Instagram live me cooking all these delicious outright pancakes. So good. What? Can you? What do you want? No, seriously, say it. Can you not film me when I'm walking around? Nobody right? saw you. So I just Instagram live me doing all these awesome pancakes, right? All of them right here. Ready to go. So here's my breakfast. Perfect pre-workout, man. Two whole eggs. There they are. Two outright pancakes. These are so good. So amazing. If you haven't tried them yet, you get them at Tiger Fitness right now. They're amazing. Man, today was a great squat day. Now we have two soccer games. Cinnamon Roll MTS Way is amazing sludge with chopped up bananas in it. It is the best shit ever. So I'm going to eat that. Got one to go. Soccer games. And we're going to go to CPK, man. I, I want some pizza. I like their barbecue pizza, double chicken. It's good shit, man. That's one of my favorite. I don't care. Oh, it's not pizza, dude. We live in Chicago, but that thick crust shit ain't for me. It ain't my thing. I'll go with a chain CPK any day of the week. And with Costco gift cards and coupons, it's cheaper, too. So I just had a, that scoop of MTS Way cinnamon roll and a frozen banana. Not that it really fucking matters. Anyway, we're at another soccer game. Thomas is playing again. He's got two games this weekend. And it is 60 degrees, misty, rainy, and cold. I know that global warming is a thing for the election. And whoever wants, I, I really want global warming right now. Like I'm about to spray some aerosol cans in the air. Like I just don't care. Like, where do I sign up for this? I want to melt some polar ice caps, wear some shorts. Like it's summer and it's cold. One game down, one to go. Thomas did very well at forward today. What do you think? Very well. So um, it is a brisk. 60 degrees out, cold, windy, just not summer, but it's allegedly summer. Again, like I'm saying, man, global warming, sign me up. Oh, but now it's climate change. Oh, I know you guys are going to look, I'm not saying there's no climate change. I'm just making jokes. Oh, but it's not funny. It's the end of the world. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. Anyway. About to get an outright bar or two in during this game. I'll let you know how many I eat. Then we're going to CPK, man. We get some pizza. I love pizza. I like CPK. Thomas, you ready for some pizza? Yeah. Definitely earned it. So Cammy's game's up next. And um, yeah, we're about to, about to have some fun here. There we go. Okay, you got it, girls. Good job, Dizzle. CPK, when I came here, I realized there was this bowl I got last time that was absolutely fantastic. And I really feel like this is a power bowl from CPK. It's got double chicken, got a bunch of veggies on top of quinoa with avocado, some radishes. It's really good and some spicy stuff in here. Thomas has pepperoni. And sausage and Sausage. Onions. Katie has barbecue chicken. Cammy barbecue chicken, pineapple, and bacon. No, she it's a cheese. vegan pizza. Cheese pizza for breakfast. It's not vegan pizza because oh, that's it's vegan. Bacon is it's vegan. Chicken. No, it's 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 bacon. Oh. Bacon is vegan bacon. Mm -hmm. And we're getting another pizza, and Mark's gonna eat it. I want to piss off the vegan? Look at that, my treat. A treat. Barbecue chicken, pineapple pizza. <laughs> Look at that. That looks that's dessert right there, bro. A treat is a popsicle. No cheese though. Cammy doesn't like cheese. This is Cammy's for lunch tomorrow. That looks good. <sighs> Today's kind of. Uh, Taste of what it's like being a dad, you know? No time to film. My wife got really mad at me turning this camera on, but you know I got eight more weeks till my guest posing. I told y'all I'd kind of see this through and do something daily. And you know what? My views are pretty shitty, as I expected. <laughs> but that's okay. The people who want to see it can see it. The people who don't want to see it don't have to see it. I'm not a very interesting guy, you know? I run businesses. I'm, I'm pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, like, you know, a lot of these people who vlog who are fucking great at what they do, I'm not great at this. I'm simply a businessman. I can't film a lot of what I do during the day because it's proprietary, because it involves meetings with people I might not want y'all to know I'm meeting with, um, because 
it involves proprietary legal information. Like I spent four hours the other day talking to attorneys. I can't tell you guys about that. You know, when I'm with my family, I can't just whip out my camera and start recording our conversation. So unlike those who just live life by the vlog, that's not me, dude. I'm your average 38 year old soccer dad, you know? I spent all day today at the soccer field. The only difference is at 9 a.m., after waking up at 5 a.m. to do office work, I worked for four hours. And in that time, I also made pancakes, outright pancakes for my family. In that time, I went downstairs in my basement, in my fitnessfactory.com home gym. By the way, people keep asking where I got my home gym. I keep getting DMs on Instagram about it. My home gym is from fitnessfactory.com. That's fitnessfactory.com. The only thing I get paid on that I promote is Blinkist. I'm also gonna link my Blinkist because I believe in Blinkist, but they don't care about me. They don't know about me. They don't know who I am, but I love their product. I pay for their product. I pay my subscription every year for Blinkist and I believe it's the most enriching thing I own. I'm gonna link it down below. I'm an affiliate. I do get paid on that. Um, if you're on Instagram watching this, cause I do double post this on Instagram and YouTube, um, then DM me. I'll give you my affiliate link for Instagram. I'm, I'm sorry for Blinkist, but I sincerely believe that Blinkist is the greatest thing I own to enrich my mind. And I use it more than basically anything else I use cause I drive and travel so much. So what I'm going to do before I fly to the Olympia next week is I'm gonna download probably 20 to 30 blinks and just listen to them the entire flight over. And that's what I'm gonna do. So Blinkist, again, like the link's down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Trust me, if you get it and you use it, it'll enrich your life because you can learn about shit you never thought you'd learn about in like 15 minutes. I literally listen to the equivalent of reading 40 to 50 books a week, shit I would never, ever read. Like history, sociology, physics, science. It's fucking amazing. But anyway, my home gym, fitnessfactory.com. Coupon code is Mark Lobliner. I do not get paid on that. I do not get paid on Midwest Meals. I just have a discount code because those are my boys. Midwest Meals carries MTS Nutrition. They carry the Outright Bar. They're good friends of mine. Okay, they cook all their breakfast foods with MTS Nutrition. Now, they do send me a couple meals a week because I love them. But I even offered to pay for that and they refused to take my money. So MidwestMeals.com, Blinkist.com I get paid for, FitnessFactory.com, if you call them or you email them and you ask them to give you what I have my basement gym made of, I couldn't tell you what it costs, but here's the thing. I'm not getting paid. I don't even know how many pieces of equipment I've sold with my coupon code and I couldn't care less. It's the best equipment in the world. Basement gym, a lot of their gym is outfitted with body solid stuff. I absolutely love fitnessfactory.com. Coupon code is Mark Lobliner. 10% off and rest assured knowing that discount is going to you and I don't get one fucking dime off of it. So even if you don't like me, use the coupon code to save yourself money. Again, when I owned my house in California in 2001, in 2001, I put a fitnessfactory.com home gym in my house. The exact same equipment I have now. I ended up selling that equipment when I moved to North Carolina. And now, well, I didn't even sell it. I just kind of gave it away or left it at my old warehouse at Salvation. Long story. Um, let's just say I left pretty abruptly. Um, you know, and I just was like, fuck it. <laughs> but I bought the same equipment I had back then. And it never broke, never gave me any problems. My brother's entire home gym is from fitnessfactory.com. Coupon code is Mark Lobliner. I get paid nothing. I don't want anything. I just want y'all to have the best equipment. 
So the only difference between me and the other dads is that they might not work on Sundays. I've already got in in between games, in between whatever. I've already gotten in eight hours of work today. I still got another two to go. Um, but Ruckus has been crated up all day. Poor little Ruckus. And I decided to take him on a, take him on a walk. We left for the field at about 1140. We've been gone. It's now 715. And I'm taking my man on a walk. Because I love my dog. Don't I love you, Ruckus? I think I love you too. I love you too. You love me too. That's how he talks. People think I'm weird because I can, when I'm around him, people can hear him talk. But that's just what Ruckus says. Exactly. Ex exactly, Ruckus. Why do people think we're weird? Hello. People are just weird. They judge. So anyway, um, so today is what my life is. Like, one thing you'll notice about this vlog, <laughs> I'm fucking boring. And if y'all watch this, there's something wrong with you, you know? Like, when I'm traveling, like, dude, my Olympia trip's gonna be boring. I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna train, I'm gonna go to meetings, I'm gonna go to the Olympia, which I'm not gonna film any of because I'm gonna be busy meeting and talking to people. I'm gonna go back to the Airbnb or the VRBO, and I'm gonna go to sleep after I get some work done. When I was in Ohio, I woke up, I worked out, I worked all day, and then my day was over. <laughs> when I'm at home, I wake up, I eat, I train, I work, I take my kids to practice, I might train again, and I go to sleep. I'm not very interesting, but that's why I think the people who do watch this shit watch this shit because it's real. This ain't contrived. This ain't the internet. This is real. It's 100% America. I'm simply a guy who's been working his ass off since I was fucking. Fuck. My mom's big drug problems came about when I was like. 10 years old and I've been trying to work up out of that since I was just a little kid you know I mean when I was when I was 11 years old my mom literally tried to kill me with a hammer she chased me around with a hammer with the intent to kill me because she was high because she didn't want me around because I pissed her off and my mom was military and my mom was a violent person I was fighting to get out of that my entire life. When I was 16 years old, my dad's health problems began, 15 actually. At 16, at 17 years old, I came home training, trying to get into college for football. I was training all morning. And I remember I left Leon, my part training, but I wasn't Leon at the time, 17, I was training on my own. I remember I got home, I was sweaty, and at my door, I saw all these ambulances. I knew it was my dad. And um, at the door was actually my football coach, a man who helped me get into college. He actually helped send my film off to universities. And his name was Coach Scott McCrilla. And he's still around. He was one of, the, one of the best men I've ever met in my life. And he was a huge, muscular individual, man. And Scott's standing at my door. He goes, it's not good. And my dad passed out from having a stroke. And I saw him getting wheeled off by ambulances, man. And it was, at that time, it was really fucked up. Is my mom wasn't even home because she was in rehab at the time. Because she had a drug problem. And I knew right then and there I was on my own for the rest of my life. So the next year... Went on my own, went off to college, and all this time, I was with Katie. You know, from 16 on, she was by my side. And I promised never to let my kids, never to make them have to go through what I went through. 
to have them never suffer, to have them never need or want for anything. And that doesn't mean money. That means love. I don't want them to ever fear for their lives. I don't want them to have to struggle. I don't, I don't want them to get things for free. I want them to work. I want them to get that work ethic, that fight or flight, that live or die that I have in my soul embedded in my genes. You know, that they're <laughs> that their great grandfather used to escape Auschwitz under Nazi control and get shot on the way out and end up getting, you know, fixed and fight alongside the anti-war Hungarians. I mean, that's our bloodline, man. I'm proud of my bloodline. You know, I come from a long bloodline of brave individuals, man. From a grandfather who escaped Auschwitz to who knows what else. You know, he was a professional boxer in Poland before the Nazis took over. And then he escaped. And that's why I'm here right now. And I don't want my kids to ever have to wonder if they're going to live. You know? And I had to fend for myself. I had to put up with that. All my kids have to worry about is getting fucking straight A's. Is training... Because it makes them better people. And it makes them better at what they do. And I'll handle the rest. I'll, hand, I'll make sure they get the opportunities. I'll set the table. They just have to serve the food. I'll put out the forks. I'll put out the knives. I'll put out the napkins. I'll even put out some ice water and some, some red wine. <laughs> All they have to do is cook the entree. Is put out some salad. Finish it off with dessert. And they can do whatever they want in life. That's why I wake up every morning. That's what people ask me, what makes you motivated? That's what makes me motivated. Because I don't want to be a statistic. I don't want my kids to be a statistic. Unless it's a fucking positive statistic. You know, it's statistically shown and numbers don't lie. I'm a statistics freak. Anybody who knows me in business, I always say numbers don't lie. Numbers don't lie. I learned that. That was a phrase my old business partner, Mike McCandless said all the fucking time. Numbers don't lie. Numbers don't lie. I'm like, Mike, yeah, right. You know, there's more to life than numbers. Actually, no numbers can tell you a lot of things. Algorithms, everything we use in artificial intelligence is based on numbers. Numbers don't lie. I don't like numbers. I don't like them because numbers told me that I was supposed to be a drug addict. Numbers told me that I wasn't going to make it. Numbers told me that I was going to follow the same path that my parents did. Numbers told me that I wouldn't have what I have right now. Numbers told me that I couldn't do special things. Numbers told me that I wouldn't help Pioneer, the intra workout category, now worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Numbers told me I wouldn't be on the Inc. 500 nine times. Numbers told me I wouldn't create the outright bar and have the next bar that's going to sell for hundreds of millions of dollars, like Quest and like One. Numbers told me I wouldn't be where I'm at now. Numbers told me I wouldn't have a happy marriage. Numbers told me I wouldn't have three healthy, amazing children. Look, statistics might be against you. I understand, man. I will never live my life. I will never be able to empathize what it's like to grow up a black man in society. I don't know what that's like. I will never be able to empathize what it's like to grow up Latino, Asian, even white. I'm Jewish. You don't think I got my fair share of discrimination, Jew jokes? It's there. Everybody has their adversity. Some more than others, some less than others. Some don't have any. Guess what? We all have our story. And those without adversity, think about how fucked up their life is. Imagine if you go through life with everybody telling you you're great. With mommy and daddy taking care of everything. Imagine if you go through life without having to face it and struggle. What happens? What happens when you struggle? What happens when life smacks you dead in the fucking mouth? What happens? You fail. You buckle. My kids won't have that. They're facing their own little adversity. But I'll tell you what, it's not coming from me. It's coming from the world, and I'm not protecting them from the world. 
They're going to public schools. They're not going to no private fucking... We can't afford private schools. I can send them to the best schools in America. They're going to go to public school just like me. And they're going to fend for themselves. They're going to play... I can afford to start my own soccer club. I could be the coach. I'm a certified coach. No, I don't want to... No, fuck that. Hell no. That ain't going to happen. You want to make it in this world? Cammy Thomas Preston... You got to earn that shit like everyone else. Daddy is not holding your hand as you cross the road anymore. It's time for you to look both ways and find out if it's safe to go. And I'll be there if you step over the curb. I'll be there to make sure you don't get hurt. But you got to make that step. You got to make that step. Because if you don't make that step, ain't nobody going to make that step for you. That's what motivates me. That's what drives me. That's what makes me Mark Lobliner. That's why I've been successful. And I've failed so fucking many times. I've failed in my marriage. I've failed as a father. But I fucking fight every day to not fail again. The minute I stop fighting is the minute I stop living. And that's the minute I stop being Mark Lobline. And that's something that took me years, well into my 30s, to figure out. But that's my life. Appreciate you guys listening. I'm home right now. I got to make sure my kids and family don't know I was crying like a little bitch. <laughs> All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. That's what I'm about. Hopefully that gave you a little insight into who I am. Yo, check it out. So I'm having my bedtime snack, two scoops, peanut butter cookies and cream made into a brownie. So here's a supplement I take, mostly females take. This is actually Kara Corey's line. This is Hair, Skin, and Nails by Providum. Now the thing is, it has nutrients in it that really help your hair, skin, and nails, like it says. But the cool thing is it's extremely affordable. So, you know, it kind of does that. I'll just give you a rundown. Vitamin C, vitamin E, biotin. All very, very, very necessary for hair, skin, nail health. Choline, calcium, zinc, copper, sodium. So you basically cover all those bases. Then you have Opti MSM. That's the patented MSM. It's the highest form. Not only does it help with joint health, but it also helps with inflammation. And it also helps, of course, the elasticity of skin. So hyaluronic acid. Let's just go with that. Okay, what that does, now you see that in a lot of joint care formulas, but of course when it has effects on your tendons, your ligaments also help the elasticity of your skin. Lysine, proline, lysine and proline are two amino acids that have been indicated in helping with skin, hair, and nails health. And hydrolyzed gelatin, you'll know gelatin due to its effects um, on just joint health, hair health, skin health, you see a huge kind of movement towards things like collagen and gelatin and things like that. So that's what we have within this product. Now I'm just putting this out there. I'm not suggesting, I'm not saying buy it. I'm saying it's something I'm taking. It's very affordable. And maybe if your girlfriend or wife or significant other is already taking a hair, skin and nails formula, it's a very, very popular formula. And that's honestly why we decided to come out with a better version of our own. Um, this might be something you look into instead of it. So this is uh, hair, skin and nails. I'll link it down below. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Look who I ran into in LA. Good I've been watching videos a long time. Tell everybody this protein bar. So it's the outright bar, man. It's all natural ingredients made with real food. None of that. You ever you ever want to work out? You want just a little snack, a little bar before training, but you know the other bars might give you a gut bomb. Right. This is something that doesn't have any prebiotic fiber, no glycerin, no sugar alcohols. It's whole real food. That is a tasty bar. Really? It's easy to eat. It's not too chewy. Normally eat something like this with a big ass glass of milk. That's good. <laughs> so it's like a cookie. Really good. It's not good. If you want, we also have the, want to try the almond butter one while we're here? I'd love to. All right, so this is, bar. this is made with almond butter, Steve. That's a one or two. Really? It's badass. Yeah. Good protein bars, where can people find these? Well, they can find it at many retail stores. You can find it at tigerfitness.com. Two badass protein bars. So they get uh, two double uh, metal fingers up <laughs> from Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that's the bottom line.